Good day, everyone. I'm Dave, and today we're going to be dealing with seasonal startups. Whether you're dealing with a lawnmower, a whippersnipper, a ride on, they're pretty well all of the same principles as far as starting and getting the season. For gas, when this thing's been sitting for the winter, sometimes it's a little hard to get the gas pre primed all the way up. A simple little trick that I've been using for years is to open up, get into your air filter. And if you actually have a filter, that's great. If you don't and you got straight into the carburetor, that also works. Take a spray bottle with whatever gas you're running, in this case, two stroke or gasoline if you're dealing with a lawnmower, and just fill it up and give one or two good sprays right inside the carburetor. Or if you have a filter, I can just spray the filter. Put that back on, close it up, make sure my kill switches and any kind of switch or start switch is in the proper position. And at that point, I can give her a start. If that starts right away and then dies, I know what I'm dealing with is some kind of fuel issue. I can try that a couple times. Sometimes it takes two or three times to actually get all the fuel properly pumping and then you're good for the rest of the season. If it still doesn't start, then I have to go into other options such as electric and timing. For electric, the simplest way to do that is of course check away at the spark plug. You can buy all sorts of spark plug testers. I find it just simpler just to pull the wire Take the plug out. This is just a, a wrench that comes with most uh, chainsaws. And we just loosen up the spark plug, take it out. Before I even start it, each season I pull the plug, have a quick check. This one's actually a brand new plug, but check to see how dirty it is inside. You can also, if you want to be a bit more meticulous, you can check the gap. And then the simplest thing is put it in the boot. Make sure, of course, our kill switch is in the right spot. Don't put this inside your spark plug hole. I just rest it on the metal somewhere, put my plug right against it. And what I can do is, of course, keep my fingers on the rubber. I can pull, give this a few pulls and I should see a nice spark showing up here. We definitely see a spark, so I know spark's good. So we've eliminated that. The only thing left typically is timing. If you're dealing with a whippersnipper, that's rarely a problem. If you're dealing with a lawnmower, what may have happened, especially if you hit something hard object that killed it at the end of the season, what may have happened is you may have split the key or broke the key and the flywheel may have twisted, in which case your timing is thrown off, in which case we have to open up the motor a little bit and we do have videos that go into greater detail. There's not much to a motor really. You have your spark plug, your head, of course, your wire coming off your coil and your coil here goes to your flywheel. Your flywheel is just sitting on a shaft that's attached to your piston inside and your shaft actually has a key so it forces that in proper position so that it turns it turns in partnership with the piston if that key that's there breaks off which you hit something hard that could be turned and of course now it's not going to spark at the correct time what happens is as this turns you have magnetics and just how electric motor works it's basically working in reverse and the magnetics is, of course, working with the coil to generate electricity, which is generating my spark. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, again, leave them below, and we'll see you next video.